Hey everybody, Jeff here, and welcome to Sage's Agent Lore video. Sage is possibly the most powerful agent on the Valorant Protocol. Her ability is to literally raise people from the dead and give them life when otherwise there was none is incredible. Today, we'll be discussing how Sage became a high-ranking leader in the VP, her connections with Omen, and some history with Viper that affects them to this day. So, everyone, make sure to leave a like if you're excited and subscribe with notifications so you never miss a Valorant lore video. I made it really easy to find all my other Valorant videos for you guys by leaving a link to the Valorant lore playlist in the description below. Chapter 1, Early Life so Sage's real name is actually, well, we don't get any information at all on what Sage's real name is, but we do know that Sage was born in China and that's where she lived for most of her life. So I forget where I read this, but when I was researching for this video, I remember reading someone saying Sage was born with her powers, but I think that's completely wrong because the first light happened in the year 2039 and that's when the Radiantites showed up on Earth and gifted lucky people exposed to enough of it their powers. But the first light was only like 11 years in the past of the current day Valorant. We know this because the Venice incident happened in the year 2049. Now, I don't think Sage looks 11 years old to you guys, right? Yeah, well, me either. So anyways, we don't get much information on Sage's childhood as a lot of her life is kept a secret, but we do find out how that Sage may have a history with one of Valorant Protocol's most ruthless agents, Viper. Chapter 2, The Experiments So I already covered this in some detail in the Viper lore video I've already made, but if you haven't watched it yet, it's actually really good. Anyways, we find out that Viper and a little girl was seen walking into a kingdom laboratory when Sabine, or Viper, used to work for the kingdom as a doctor. It's very well hinted at in the lore of Valorant that this little girl pictured there was actually Reyna's little sister. We all know that Reyna's little sister went missing with the very likely scenario of dying. The only reason why I'm bringing this up in a Sage Agent lore video is due to this one voice line exchanged between Viper and Sage. Sage, you're the only one who can keep us alive. Don't fail us now like you failed me then. Viper, have you thought about my offer? You don't have to. Never, ever assume you can help me. You can't help me. You can't help them. So, I'm wondering if Sage was part of Viper's experiments that may have killed Reyna's little sister. If that is the case, I don't think Reyna knows that Sage may have been a part of it, because I can't find any hostile voice lines between Reyna and Sage, where there are plenty between Reyna and Viper. Another thing that I thought was interesting is that Sage may have been a part of the reason why Omen, well, became Omen. I don't have any definitive proof on this, but I can make a pretty good case on to why I think she was a part of it. So, in this player card featuring Omen and Sage, it looks a lot to me that Sage was reviving Omen from the dead and possibly is the reason why Omen's soul is encased in his armor. I think the voice line we heard Viper tell Sage from earlier might be either about Reyna's little sister or the fact that Sage was unable to fully bring Omen back from the death. The fact that Omen and Viper used to work together as scientists for the kingdom and an accident happened that ended up killing Omen is true. I think Sage was brought in by Viper to heal Omen but it went wrong and Sage was unable to get Omen back to his original body. I wonder what torture their Omen is going through. Is it like ours? Poor soul. Omen also lost almost all of his memories from his past life. Now, what do you guys think about that theory? Anyways, let's move on to the next chapter in Sage's life. By the way, are you guys enjoying the video? Let me know because Valorant is a game I'm pretty interested in and would love to see if you guys, well, like the Val content I'm putting out. I've been streaming on Twitch lately and plan on going live with some Valorant over there, so hit it up. Okay, back to Sage. Chapter 3, The Valorant Protocol. So obviously we know Sage joined the Valor Protocol to help control rogue radiance of Earth and now mirror agents coming over from mirror Earth to steal the Radiant Knight and bring destruction. 
I have a really good Mirror Earth video. I'll link in the top right corner if you're interested. So Sage's number in the VP is number seven, meaning she was one of the original agents recruited into Valorant. It's at that time that Brimstone was the leader of Valorant and still is, but Viper was his second in command. Well, after a while, Viper's role of Brim's second in command would slowly shift to Sage. I'm guessing Sage is a more trustworthy person and has insane healing powers that appeals to Brimstone or maybe even Viper decided she'd like to step down from a leadership role. We don't know for sure why Viper was removed, so we're just left to theories. Sage, if I die out there, you're in charge. Someone has to look out for these knuckleheads. Remember, Brimstone, if anything happens to you, I'll take the lead. Well, after Sage became a leader for the protocol, one of the things she can do is have the power to recruit people. So that's what she did. Sage was the agent that recruited Sky into the VP, and they're actually pretty good friends. This is happening everywhere, Sky. I have to protect this land, Sage. It's my home. It's not just your corner of the world that's in danger. There's more like this? Too many. All right, Sage. I'm in. You finally joined us, Sky. We're better for you being here. So, thanks to Sage's art of persuasion, we got one of the best and most powerful agents on the VP because of her. Another thing that Sage did while being one of the leaders for the Valorant Protocol is if you guys remember in the Duelist trailer where the Valorant Protocol agent Phoenix is chasing after the Mirror Earth agent Jet. This was because the VP got intel that the enemy Jet was attempting to steal Radiant Knight from our Earth in Venice, Italy. Sage overcomes, warned Phoenix that he must stop this Jet and must do anything in his power to stop her. You cannot let her plant. All right, I'm going in. What about the hostile? I wouldn't worry about her. Are you certain? 100. I got this. And well, we know what happened because of that. Phoenix failed. I'm almost positive that Sage in the back of her mind felt like at least some of the part of the Venice incident was partly her fault because one, she wasn't there to help out Phoenix and two, Phoenix is part of her responsibility. So she must feel awful about it. Chapter four, power. So like I've said time and time again in this video, that Sage's power to harness Radiant Knight, turning her into one of the strongest and most influential Radiants on earth is amazing. She can heal wounds and injury with ease, only having a short resting period before doing it again. She can conjure up massive walls out of nothing to protect herself and her allies. And again, her most impressive ability is to bring life to people who have lost it. It's an incredible achievement and the VP rely on it heavily. She actually has Radiant Knight orbs located on her belt that she uses to help with some of her powers like the slow orb, for example. But all in all, Sage is someone who genuinely cares for her allies and will do everything in her power to heal and save them. My purpose is my gift. Be not afraid to accept it. I will defend you all with my power and with my life. I wasn't strong enough before, but now, now I am strong enough for us all. She also recognizes when the mirror agent Sage from Mirror Earth is on the battlefield and does everything she can to focus on herself and her team. I know I am over there, but my mind rejects the thought. Does she feel the same? Well, guys, did you enjoy Sage's lore video? Make sure to leave a like and comment below who you want to see the next Valorant Agent lore video. Make sure to subscribe to notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, yippee! Yeah.